Hey guys, I wanted to go over the remote learning packets with you. That way, as you're looking through the packet, you can watch this video. If after watching the video and looking through the packet, you still have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. So the first thing um, you're gonna be getting is this um, reusable Walmart sack. Our school picked it, um, went up for every kid at school. Isn't that amazing? So it just makes it so much more convenient for the teachers to pack it up and for us to give it to you in a spot to keep your um, kids' belongings. Now in this bag will be their supplies, new pencils, a new pack of notebook paper. I have the textbooks that they're going to need. There is a math, a reading, and a science. And then I also have put all of their interactive journals. Now, their interactive journals are a great way to go back and review information. Um, they, they know how to use them. They know what's in there. It's a gr lot of good information of things that we've already previously taught. So those can also be utilized as a resource. Within this bag, there is going to be a packet, and this is where the work comes in, okay? So inside, you're going to have clipped a packet of papers. Now what I've done is I've clipped together, this is the work for the next three weeks. It's also divided up paper clips. So we have a packet for week one, a packet for week two, and a packet for week three. Now I've highlighted the date on the front of each packet. So in case you um, undo the packets and they get set around, you'll know which packet goes to what date. Now on the front of each packet is a choice board. And how it's going to work is your child will be um, responsible for completing three of these squares. Now, one square is gonna be optional. Two squares um, are required to be the ones with an asterisk. So on the front of here, and you'll see it in your packet, there's gonna be two squares that have a little asterisk by it. Those are mandatory. So those two squares have to be completed. Those will be for a grade. And then the third choice can be any choice that they want to complete. Um, three is the minimum. If you feel that your child can do more and you want them to do more, that's great. But three is um, the minimum for their grade. What you'll do, and it, it will explain it on the top right here, is each square, I ask that you have them color it in with a crayon. So I know on our homework board, sometimes we did have it saying to color, but maybe somebody would put a check mark or they would number with a pencil. Uh, you are gonna have to take a photo of this choice board along with the completed work and send it back to me. So you putting a number on it, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for me to see. So I do ask that you make sure to follow that specific instruction and have them color the squares that they completed. Now within like week one's packet, you are going to have a science and social studies packet. And I spoke to a lot of you on the phone to let you know, um, there's a lot of online options. And I talked to all of you about having internet and having a device where they can do it. So there's some fun things and there's some really cool websites. And what's awesome right now is pretty much all these websites normally charge schools and some of them are pretty, um, you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars a year and now they're free. And so they're offering during this whole COVID-19 thing, they're offering, offering free um, access to all their websites. So it's good stuff. But in addition to that, in the packet, we also have paper copies, okay? So not all the squares require internet. And if your kid does better I'm um, doing things paper pencil, those, those are options too. So I know we've done a lot of given options for project-based learning. And what that means is just creating stuff, making stuff, creating a poster, um, maybe, you know, creating a new song for um, a subject. So you'll have science and social studies packet you will have a math and reading packet in there. Same thing, nine squares. They have to minimum do three. The two with the asterisk are required. And there's also a math packet, okay? Now on the math packet, a lot of the beginning 
you're gonna look at and it's gonna look like it's done for you. So please pay attention that those are notes. So these are put in here as resources as just a kind of like a little teach and that way the kids um, understand what the expectation is for those papers. Um, let me put this back up. So you have packet one, week one. All um, assignments, and it does say it up here, are due by eight o'clock Sunday evening. So I do ask that, um, you know, due to technology and, you know, things do come up, I probably would not wait till eight to try to send the photos to me. Um, but it is due no later than eight o'clock p.m. on Sundays. So for week one, it says up here, it is March 30th through April 3rd. So that is our, our Monday through Friday week. But you will have until that Sunday evening to take the photos and turn it in. So, you know, we are asking if all possible. And since all of our um, friends in our class have electronics, you have internet, it shouldn't be um, a problem to take, you're gonna be taking photos. So you're gonna take a photo of the cho choice board and you're gonna send it to me. And if they do any paper options in the packet, you're gonna take a picture of the completed and send it to me as well, okay? So that way I can, I can grade it um, via email. Um, we're not gonna be at school for you to turn the papers in and I would prefer right now to not have my hands on, on the papers. In addition to that, if you have any other questions, please, once you look through it, let me know. In addition to that, in this um, envelope, it's gonna be another envelope. Now, in here, I just wanted to kind of separate some of this stuff so it wasn't so um, overwhelming. We do have um, spring portraits came in. Now these will be, if you want to order some, that's great. Um, they're online only, so the school will not be accepting checks or money. So if you would like to order photos, you'll go online to the website and order. Your child's um, report card is also in here. And I have made a page for all of the websites that they will need. So. I'm not going to turn it around because it actually has a student's info on here, but it has for our science and social studies, it has all the usernames and passwords. Now I put this on cardstock, so <laughs> please, please, please um, make sure this is an important piece because it's going to have all the information for you to, to get online. Now if you go online and you pick a, a square like for Epic, I know that we've created quizzes in Epic, so there wouldn't be anything to take a photo of. If you go online to do a test, that um, program will email me your child's score, okay? Um, you will only need to send me photos of assignments if it's on paper or if in the square it says to take a photo. I know Brain Pop app, you can take quizzes, there are options for quizzes, but it, it does not allow me to see what the kids have done. So at the end of the quiz, I've asked that you just take a picture of their results and email me that. In addition to all of the information on the front, all of their personal usernames and passwords for all of this, um, I've just included some additional resources for fun on the back. There's things for brain breaks, for yoga, there's handwriting. There is a very cool website um, where you can explore live nature cams. Like you can watch an elephant drinking out of a water hole in Africa. Super, super cool. So these are just for fun if you wanted some extra resources. Um, next in the packet, we did make a daily sample schedule. Now, I know that not everyone is going to be able to follow the schedule. This is optional. This is if you just needed that help. You just needed um, some kind of guidance. That's all this is for. I will give you more resources than you need. I just wanna make sure you have anything you could possibly need. But it is very important that we find some type of schedule for the kids, okay? So kids love routine, they love schedule. And if you, if this one doesn't work for you, maybe it'll give you some ideas. But if you could come up with your own, that's fine. We've had families that um, maybe mom and dad both are still working and they're gonna have to do some type of night school and evening school. You're gonna do right now what works best for your family. And each family is unique and different and has different needs. 
and that that's okay. We completely understand that. And next, I've taken off the kids' reading strategy card. So when they're take where they're reading, um, doing their reading lessons, and they're taking those tests, they're so familiar with this, and it'll just give them um, just a reminder of how to answer those questions. I've also included, and this out of their folders, um, they're familiar with this also. It's for math, it's just a reference material sheet. They get it when they take the STAR test. Um, it just talks about length, volume, capacity, has a ruler on there. Our PTO newsletter's in there. We do have a paper for um, education. So. It says updates in special education. This one's important, this one's coming from the district and all of this is, is just saying if you feel that your child may have a need for special education, you can request it, it gives you contact information and that sort of thing. My next packet is from Ms. Taylor, our counselor. It just has some good resources, it has some great pages in there. Um, at any time during this remote learning, if you feel that your child would benefit from talking with Ms. Taylor from our counselor, please reach out and let me know and I can get a, um, a hold of her directly so that she can um, contact your family. We wanna make sure that our students still have all of the same resources that they, that they had before, okay? I know that this is a difficult time and I know that even me being a teacher, teaching comes pretty natural to me at school. But now even me having to homeschool my second grader and eighth grader, I know there's challenges. I have to learn how to teach Algebra One, So I know there are challenges in, in each family, but that's why we have to stick together on this. Um, we have to be there for one another because it is difficult. But if we band together, I always talk about, tell our, our, my students, we are a class family. And that's true, and my kids know that in here. They are my kids, I am their school mom. But you know, during this time too, parents, you are also part of that family. We are all coming in this together. So even if, and I told many of you on the um, telephone call yesterday, even if you have a question and it's not school related as far as me and our kids, well, it doesn't matter, call me, okay? This is our time to, to come together and be there for one another. And the next page is for a cool website for music that Mr. Cerna has put in there. And we have another page from Mr. Job talking about some spots for some good reading. And the last two things, a little bookmark from the district, just a reminder about doing the census. And the last, um, a reminder for yearbook. Now, if you already ordered a yearbook, it's gonna be in your bag. So I've already placed those in your bag. And if you still want to order one, it's not too late. You're just gonna follow this and go online. Um, also, uh, group pictures came in this morning. So I'm waiting for those to get sorted. And if, you're, if you ordered a group photo, those will also be, I'll just um, slide it into the bag next to the envelope. Uh, one last thing in this packet I don't want to forget is our specials teachers also have a choice board and this is this is optional this comes from PE music and art and this is not anything that you necessarily you don't have to take photos of the specials board and turn back to me but this is a way for you to have week one week two and week three of just ideas like i said we're here to give you probably more resources um, than you can imagine we just want to make sure that you're equipped and that you have what you need and that your child has what they need to be successful so this is going to be at the very back of this three-week packet um, I know it's a lot of information. I've been talking for nearly 15 minutes, but y'all know I can talk. I'm pretty good at that. Um, the report card in that in um, folder does not need to be signed. You don't need to return it to me or take a photo or anything like that. Um, just kind of look through it. Remember, I'm giving these to you early. <clears throat> this, our typical school week, does not start until Monday the 30th. And um, at any time I, you have a question, please reach out to me. There is no question too small. You can never ask me too many questions because that's how we learn, right? I tell the kids, 
If you have a question, that's how, that's how we learn. So there's no failure, there's only feedback, and I would be more than happy to give you guys feedback and help you any way that I can. Um, that's all I can think of right now. I hope you guys have a great day. Know that I love each and every single one of you. I'm praying for you and we will definitely get through this together. Okay, have a great day guys.